lady dressed in gold. She is young. She is old. She's the keeper of the soul. From my, from my mom as well as my sister, uh, and then uh, my mom was always like we were always thrifting when we were young. Uh, when I was a kid, and my sister as well, and my mom went with us to thrift stores and and so on. So I guess it just like kind of a tradition. <laughs> I think in general, like I think the fashion in the 60s and 70s, and uh, yeah, I think that's uh, everyone was so pretty, <laughs> and I, I really love it. And uh, it's also, I think, clothes you express yourself as well as you know how you do with music. There's a great stores. It's this app and and online called Etsy where you can follow different stores around the world, and you. I'm mostly following vintage stores and even, you know, some of the stores make their own clothes and we knew um, that you can follow and order as well. So, uh, and I think it's a good way of, of using the old to something new, you know, it's, uh, it's good for the environment, it's good, sometimes it's bad for your wallet because now the prices goes up so much, but yeah, some thrift stores are still, you know, you can find these amazing, um, yeah, clothes and, and, and uh, pieces. To look, like really look, not just like go through, like look. And because and, sometimes you can go in in the store and you're like, okay, this, no, it doesn't have anything. But I promise you that almost a store has something for you if you just look, you know, take the time and look. And also take the time to try out. And you can also re, you know, so you can, if it's too big or, you know, you can always sew it in and, and make it fit you perfectly. Uh, but yeah, I guess someone's trash is someone's treasure.